Right, I need to get rid of that blur very quickly though. Toggle head. Toggle head. Why me, Lord? Why me? Toggle banished blue. Toggle Eden red. There we go. So we've got everything set up for the first matchup. We have two moles on the attacking team, a long sword, a wedge of short swords, four muskets, and a poleaxe. Eden, the defenders. They've got three moles, four short swords, a glaive, a couple of pole axes, a spear, a musket short bow. Alright, they've, they've got a lot more classes than, than Banished do. I hope Banished don't end up having the problem that they can't actually kill heroes. Maybe they're thinking because they've only got three lives, they're more likely to stay alive if they have more short swords. I hope that doesn't bite them in the, the butthole, let's say. Um, your... The, a few names on the Eden team that are, I'd say, very well known in the, the, the Conqueror's Blade community. Eden's obviously been a powerhouse on EU1, and they've been involved in a few tournaments already, so... Right. And if anybody's wondering why the game looks slightly weird, um, I've actually removed shadows. This is maybe a good idea to tell everybody, if you go into your graphics settings and remove shadows, the massive frame rate drops that you get on um, Linwu Lin Fortress will no longer be a thing, uh, just until they actually get it sorted out. I've seen that today, and I haven't posted it anywhere. This is me now telling everyone, so spread the word. <laughs> uh, looking at this setup, I'm going to say that Eden aren't actually going to defend A. They're obviously just going to try and get in, get, in, get in as much use out of their artillery as possible, and then they're going to defend B. B, C, and the the seaside resupply. Let's say um, it wouldn't. It just does, it's not going to make sense to actually bother defending A. A never does. It's too treble. It's wide open. You can just get absolutely ruined. What units of these teams got? Banished have got a lot of reapers. They've got a few sets of Madao. They've got Liao's up as well. They've got Monastic. Wing to stars as well. Interesting. So that means they're going to go for a B push if they keep the cavalry out because they're going to go try going straight through the gate and rushing straight to B. This gate being here locked might be a problem because these palace guards won't be able to get in as quickly, by the way. Um, oh no, they've just changed, I was going to say. <laughs> if they had cavalry out, I would have definitely said they're going straight away for a B push as soon as they get A, but they've just changed, so I'll shut up about that. There's nothing going on just yet. There's nothing going to happen anyway. Eden's going to pull back. Banished are going to get the A point, and then it's going to be a fight, like I said, for this this area in the middle of the map, if you like. Um, the defenders have got a couple of sets of Shenjins. Falcos and Keshigs were the units that were banned. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, so they've got a couple of sets of Palace Guards. They've got a few Modal, one Iron Reaper. They've got Sifirophanoi, or the Flamey Boys. They've got the Kaylee Militia as well. The Kaylee Militia will actually be a really good unit if you keep it around by this supply. Because if they push this seaside staircase, or if you like the supply staircase, they'll easily be able to just rearm and then throw bombs again. The Banished obviously have taken the wall. Again, no artillery is allowed to be built from the attacker or the defender. The attacker is allowed to use trebs. So we can see at the top there are still 15 trebs in play. They have actually had no reason so far to, to do anything. Um, Damian and Cupid... I'm saying that no one in Eden's anywhere near them. I was going to say they need to be careful, not that they get bum rushed and taken out. Legendario and HK and FDS are already pushing the top resupply. There is movement in the back lines here. Is that the Zakalian? Oh no, Flamer Boys. Why did he. Did he already make them shoot? He is, is going to be a bit crappy to look. So we've got Fort Brachios blocking B already. Nothing behind there. They could be in a world of hurt if you get Shenjins upon this platform here, or even just a couple of muskets. Just like I reckon, two muskets, all three of their bombs onto that Fort Brachio blob, and that that blob's basically gone. Uh, here looks like the big fight. Ooh, are Eden gonna counter push them? They obviously can't be trebbed here at all. Modal, Palace Guard, a couple, of, quite a few Palace Guards, Iron Reapers. I mean, that is going to be a fight and a half. Both have got shields up. I can't see if there's flamers in here. There aren't flamers in there. And I don't think there are Shenjin. So the... Oh, Simka's dead though. You need to keep an eye, out, an eye out for these. That's very bad, by the way. If anybody doesn't know the, the map 
basically didn't work. So we're playing CBL rules, so you can only die three times. So the attackers have just lost their Iron Reapers. They're let's, literally their most powerful unit on this side, which is not good. Jack's not playing Spencer, sorry bud. Or not in this match at least. This is Banished versus Eden. So it looks like Banished are going to go for a C stair push and the supply push. Um, they've put... Oh no, they've put a bit... They've just bombed the Fort Brachio. Okay, is that Shenjin? Is that Legendario with Shenjin? Yeah, Legendario with Shenjin. Okay. But the main push is going to be over this side. Um, Eden taking the initiative and actually been able to grab Simka and just drag him. Why did all the bombs land there? And, well, I don't know. Who let Broken fight? I don't know. <laughs> is Broken, by the way. Terrible player. Where's Mr. Average? Is... Ooh. Who's this here? Who's this? Stop running around, Mr. Average. Where are you going? This is Herr Durchschnitt for die, die nur Deutsch verstehen. Das ist halt der durchschnittlichste Spieler, die es je gegeben hat. Herr Dasu hier. Der wird mich hassen und mich umbringen wollen. <laughs> That's Mr. Dasu. Mr. Average. <laughs> He's gonna absolutely hate me for that, but oh well. He'll get over it. Right. So, it, the fact that Eden are defending so high on this point means that Banish can't get over. Do they, do they have Falcon at his out? They, I Falcon at his band, what am I about? But they're struggling to get any momentum here, and they can't treb it. They, they can't just sit and do nothing, though. They have to do something. They have to make the decision to pull back and try and rejig, or... They need to actually push into this and start doing something. Yeah, that just treb in the middle is going to hit nothing. Apart from maybe yourself because the tower there. No, I don't think they did Right, so Hayachi's just been picked up as well. So again, you need to be careful of these malls, man. That's why I tell everyone you need to sit on your horse as long as possible until you actually get in. Uh, otherwise, you just get picked out like that. The mall just runs up to you and says, I choose you, drags you back. And then instead of you getting put in like a nice cute little Pokeball, you actually just get ass raped. Um, so, and the fact that the, the deaths is on this time, unfortunately, you're only allowed to die three times and you're out. Banished have already lost two players for basically nothing. Which is which is not good. Um, and then just hesitating now is is perfect for Eden. Eden Eden are defending; they don't have to do anything. So the attackers have lost more units already as well. They they're gonna have to push at some point. I wonder what they're waiting for. Maybe when Hayachi gets there. Oh no, they're they're rotating back now. Look, Banished, Are they gonna go for the B side or are they just gonna try and bait them? They're going to maybe move and then try again, just to make them readjust down here so they can maybe get over the top of the stairs and actually get into a position to push them. They haven't done anything with their presence above supply. Okay, they're all, they're all rotating, though. Eden's seen it. They've just left a couple over here, just in case. Vasectomy and Madshin are going to be in charge, just basically stopping whatever's coming. That treb again. Honestly, like that, those, those trebs aren't going to hit anything unless they're like just pure luck. You can kind of hit the back of the supply here, so you can maybe like kill a couple of the javelins there, but they're not going to do that much. And um, they're not going to do everything down this bit. Are they? Where's that one going? Oh, there you go. That's the that's the treb I was talking about. You can do it like slightly to the left as well. That's actually going to get rid of some of the javelins, I would assume. Apart from most of them, just hit all of the woodwork here. That is brutal. Okay, so it looks like Banished are going to go down this set of stairs set of stairs now. Interesting. Eden have no cavalry up. Obviously both sides have no cavalry up, but that's uh, going to mean that Eden are gonna, aren't going to be able to quickly rotate. So if Banished can take an engagement and win it decisively, these guys up here, for example, are going to take a long time to get down here and join the fight. So they've got three guys and three units up here doing nothing. So both stairs are pushing. This this is probably going to get crushed from Banished. But then these guys should basically have free reign to do what they want. Might be an idea to push B now. Or they're just going to try doing as much damage as possible. What are they hesitating for? Interesting. We'll zoom in here. I'm going to try keeping an eye over there. So Anne Frank's just died. Musket player. I can't help but feel like Banished didn't, didn't move quick enough there. These guys here should have instantly moved in instead of just 
stopping? Like, what are they waiting for? This side got beat like I thought they would. They had the majority of Eden to, to deal with. And these guys have realized that they took too long and have pulled back. Okay. So, Vanish are going to have to go for a reset. They've just lost four more heroes. Uh, it looks like they might lose a couple more. So, Cupid just died. Oh, no, Simca just died a second time, even. He has to be very, very careful for his next life. Uh, did Hayachi die again? No. Right. It's just Simca on two lives. Have Eden even lost a hero? Yeah, there's one dead. They've lost two. Okay. But so far, everything's going Eden's way. Unit-wise, it's roughly the same. Uh, Heroes is the big one, though. Like I said, if you die three times, you're out of the match, unfortunately. Because the, the normal map wouldn't work. So, Vasectomy is just keeping an eye out on the backside to make sure they're not going to come this staircase. Looks like Banished are going to set up the same push that they just did, but with more emphasis on the B-side staircase. I wonder why they're not going for B, like normal. Like you got like palace guards here, right? You got Fort Brachio, two sets, okay. But you got nothing like mega over there. So they can see exactly where Banished is. So if Banished comes down this staircase, there's just gonna be a big blob to fight. They can try rotating along here, but they've got a long distance to go, and Eden's probably gonna see it and be able to be in a position to actually stop it. It looks like the main push is going to come this staircase. But what they have to do this time, they have to time it so that they actually push almost simultaneously. Or the, the, the bigger group, if you like, goes first to, to pull stuff through them. And then the smaller group hits like quickly and decisively instead of just pausing like what they just did. That was not the play. They just basically allowed Eden to, the time basically to commit everything over here, wipe it, and then turn around and then outnumber the fight that was going over here as well. If there would have been one. So, Banished at least realised that that would have been a mistake to take it and pulled back, but they should have really been getting involved there. So, Namios, what are you doing back here? She wants to make sure there's nothing on the B side so that they know that there's nothing there and they can pull back without having to worry. So, he, yeah, there you go. So, they know that they don't really need to do all. They've got half a unit of Fort Abrachio. We know he's got time, probably. Yeah, he's going to go and get a new unit. Okay. Banished. And now, pushing down the stairs. So what we've got here, we've got quite a few sets of Javelin Sergeants. Three sets, man? Four sets of Javelin Sergeants. So Anne Frank and Damian are on the fight over here. Uh, they may have actually done work, but they've got Shenjin bombs from the top. Another Shenjin... Oh, no, it's the Kaylee Militia, sorry. So they've just been completely stopped there. Again, out massively outnumbered, at least two, three to one. The fight over here should go more in Banished's favour at the beginning. They need to get rid of these flames here, otherwise they're in a big, big trouble. Cavalry out for Eden, managed to push them back and banish just being completely stopped again. Nothing going on over the side there, so a few more banished players are dead, they've just lost half, half their team. Hope they haven't lost anyone three times, otherwise they're completely... Oh, cool. Too bad, just two deaths. Two deaths. And Eden have got 200 unit advantage. Slightly less, but it's basically the same. Um, Bubbles just died as well. The use of the Javelin Sergeant was actually a really good idea, man. Because they could just... Add, they had flames in as well, so they had flames to basically put the flame effect on the push. Obviously, when you're stunned, you can't do anything anyway. Your shield's completely useless. And when the Javelins then go in, they basically always guarantee a critical hit. Um, so very, very well... Well played from Eden. Very good way to make your units synergize well with each other. You can do a similar thing with uh, muskets. So you can use your flame bomb for muskets and then javelin in as well and get more worth out of your javelin throw, especially if there's uh, armored units there. So we've got again multiple javelins, we've got shields, we've got Modao, palace guards. These three guys coming down from Banish, though, are going to get absolutely shredded. I mean, yeah, Broken's just run past to get into the back here. The stuff that's come down on its own, though, is going to get shredded. By the time this next unit gets here, these guys are going to be dead. And look how many heroes. There's, there's literally... That's why you have to push in a Zerg, man. You cannot go ahead while you die. Ruga, Kona, and Broken are going to die. I think maybe their job was to actually try and get rid of the flames. Uh, the fight in here... The Banished are pushing with... Is that with Flamers? Yeah, they've got Flamers. That Cataphracts as well have just pushed in. They are making headway, not like massively. 
Ghost X is going for the Flamers. Good shout. He's not being stopped though. He's being allowed to run rough shot in the background. Looks like Banish is still winning though, but no more time. So they took too long, hesitated too long, and mm, didn't really manage to get anything done, unfortunately. Rough. Eden absolutely ruined them there. I don't think anybody can say that that's not what happened. That definitely is what happened.